Good morning, everybody. Today, for your maths, you're talking about timetables. Now, I'm going to talk through bus timetables, but your work is on train timetables. Whether it's a bus or a train, you have to learn, as part of your maths, how to read timetables. So, here we go. Bus or train timetables are written in the 24-hour clock. This means there are 24 hours over the course of a whole day. The clock and the table below show each hour written in both 12 hour and 24 hour time. So have a look at this. Now, when you're working in 24 hour clock, midnight can be 0000, 000 or 2400. The truth is we don't use 2400, so I'm going to ask you to use, if you're talking about midnight, use 0000. And this is what the 24-hour clock looks like. So we've got 12 a.m., midnight would be 0000, 1 a.m., 10100. The key thing about the 24-hour clock is it always must have four digits to everything that you have. So 1 a.m. would be 0100, 2 a.m. 0200, that goes all the way through until midday, you've got 1200, and then instead of one o'clock in the afternoon, we have 1300, 1400, 1500, etc., all the way until we're back to 0000 at midnight. Now, I confess, I find bus and train timetables quite difficult to read, but my wife actually used to write them for a living. and She's very good with them. This is what they look like. These headings here show the direction the bus is travelling in. And this column down here shows each place where each bus stops. And these columns show the time that each bus will stop at each bus stop. The times are always written using the 24 hour clock. So you can see bus 24 starts at Greengate Lane at 0945, 945 in the morning. It goes to the furniture shop next and that's 1020 in the morning. And then it goes to the pizza restaurant, that's 1025. And then it goes all the way through until it goes to Hilltop Road. And then it goes from Hilltop Road back to Greengate Lane on the other side of the page. That's all bus 24. And you can see the same is written for bus 29, bus 33 and bus 38. We can use the timetable to answer questions about bus journey times. So if I took the number 29 bus, how long would it take me to travel from the furniture shop to the supermarket? It would take, so I'd have, I'd have to have a look at the furniture shop, bus 29. It starts at 10.45, that's when it arrives at the furniture shop, and then it travels to the supermarket and finishes at 11.05. So I'd have to count on from 10.45 to 11.05. You have to count on in your head. Whatever you do, do not try to use column method addition or column method subtraction. It will not work with 24-hour clock, so don't try and make it. Right, and I can see there that the answer is 20 minutes from 10.45 to 11.05, 20 minutes. And here's another one. How long would it take me to travel on the number 33 bus from the sports shop to the police station? So you've started at 12.35 and then you're going to the police station. 12.35, count on to 12.56 when we finish at the police station. And that would take 21 minutes. Here's another one. I need to get to the bank by 12 o'clock. What is the number and time of the latest bus I can catch from the hardware shop? Look at the times that she could arrive at the bank. And then you have to think 12.05 is too late. She will have to catch, that's Emma, she will have to catch the bus from the hardware shop to arrive at the bank at 11.40. Which bus would she catch? So you can see there it will be bus number 33. That's the one that she'd have to catch there. We can use timetables to answer questions about the bus journey times. So if I caught the bus 
from Hilltop Road at 12.40, but the bus has been delayed for nine minutes by Roadworks. What time will I get to the pizza restaurant? So Hilltop Road at 12.40, but the bus has been delayed by nine minutes. You can see there, we're nine minutes behind. So what time will you get to the pizza restaurant? It will get there nine minutes later. So 13.40, add nine minutes, 13.49 would be your answer. So I've mentioned before, hours are all about trains. Make sure that you have a good read of the questions. Make sure that you understand what you're being asked before you give the answers, because not all of them are easy. Now, I have tried to put two pages on one today. It might have gone a bit wrong on some people's and you might get the work sideways. If that's the case, you're going to have to do your best. Either copy it out, do it on a piece of paper, send me the answers back as a photo, or you can try locking your device um, and turning it sideways if you're on a mobile device. Or if you're on Windows, you can always use Control Alt, hold both of them down and then press one of the arrow keys and that will flip your screen on any Windows device. So you can actually um, use your screen sideways uh, and hopefully you should be able to send me something then. Good luck with that.